up everyone welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be getting the glow plug relay and well the whole module out of out of this truck because it doesn't work and if there is any chance of it working i'd rather just get a new one and have a better chance or not waste time so we're gonna get this glow plug relay out of here and I know it's not gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to lean across the entire truck and stab myself with all sorts of stuff. So I'll show you. Show you. All right, so it was really hard to film in here. So I've got all these sockets and junk just laying here and I already got this relay off the bottom here it was it probably took me an hour I'm not even gonna lie it took me like an hour and a half but it's out well at least the relay is this bottom thing I forgot what it's called it's just attached right here to the wiring harness with a clip and I'm not gonna take that out yet i'm gonna get all these uh nuts put back on the designated posts on this relay so i don't lose them so i've got most of them on i've got one more that i dropped down back in there of course and then all those other nuts uh go onto that black plate right there all right after about 15 minutes of digging around behind that plate picking it up and dropping it back down there finally got it so this goes right here on the relay this clip you just gotta push that out of the way and then should be able to pull it out just like that and now Okay, I've got another attached thing. I figured out the last thing attached is like a ground wire or something. And it's underneath that uh, wiring harness clamp. So it's it's not coming off very easy. So it's going to take a while, but I'll let you know when I get it off. I guessed right, so I took this harness off. It was pretty difficult, but... As you can see, there's the ground. I'm guessing that's the ground for it. So now, this is not attached to anything and we can pull it out. Okay. So there's all that. That's a lot of, that's kind of a lot of wires for an 89, but I remember Ford overcomplicated these. Uh, and glow plug the glow plug relay and the terminal or whatever underneath it so that's this is how it'd regularly look right there and then this goes like that of course there's other uh, connectors that are back in there that would connect into this Right now, I'm trying to figure out uh, why there's nothing on there. I think that's why I don't have any start in the truck or like a the ignition key. And there's also this um, open wire that looks like a plug in through here some way. So we've got another parts truck with a uh, fender mount starting solenoid so I'm gonna go ahead and make a trip to that and see if it has the same thing this parts f-150 had exactly what I needed back on this condenser it's this type of uh, end right here and it did plug into this which is exactly what's on the 7.3 so we're gonna walk back to 7.3 Try and splice this up on an end 
and see if it'll work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take each different size of these ends and then take it over to the starter solenoid and see which one fits that post. Alright, so what I'll be doing is using this red one because it has the smallest crimp hole because this wire is pretty small. So I'm going to go ahead and get the splice tool and then we can go ahead and get this all rigged up. Alright, so on here you can see it says ignition wire yellow 22 through 18 which I'm not familiar with that but this is yellow and it's way too big so either I don't know what this means or this wire is too thin but we're just going to use it for now until I can find a thicker wire if that's needed. Okay I tested it out and it does fit in here before I did any cutting. Or splicing so it does fit so I use the tool at wire size 14 and strip this piece of rubber off now we have bare open wires so I'm probably gonna fold this over a little bit and then crimp this connector on so I ended up uh, going a little bit farther down on this wire so I could fold the wires over like that it gives it a better connection inside of uh, inside of there and it'll fill up more volume in there so I can clamp it and right there you can see the end of that wire so I'm gonna push a little bit more out and now we can clamp it all right guys well I'm pretty sure I have a pet bird now because he's just <laughs> watching me um, fix this it could be that could be old Bobby right there sitting with me while I'm working on my truck, but um, I think these are too small for this, so we might just rig it up the other way. All right, so I've got it on there now with a washer. Um, those little, these little pieces didn't work, so they're too small. So I'll, I'll go put those back, but before I put them back, we're gonna hook up the other battery and see if this is a waste of time or not. I don't know if this white wire does anything, but I always put it in there because it seems like because it seems like that's where it should go. Okay, let's go see if this works. All right, turn the key. And nothing. Well, I guess that was just a waste of time. Unless it has something to do with the um, little plug relay I took out. Alright guys, well I guess it wasn't a waste of time. Um, I was just sitting in here searching up why uh, when I turn the key I have no crank. But, in the world, those woodpeckers go crazy up there. But anyways, if you can hear that, it's cranking over. So, it works. It has a bad connection of course. So I'm going to go over there and clean that, that up. Now I can properly cycle the glow plugs and start it from inside the truck. Because that's very important because on this 7.3 diesel engine starting instructions, it says turn key to on when wait to start light goes off. Turn key to start while depressing accelerator pedal as follows halfway for temperatures above 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius and the second one says fully for temperatures below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius but 
that that way I can be inside the truck and have the pedal depressed and it'll start a lot easier so I'm excited about that now all we have to wait on is a glow plug relay and the box underneath it I, I always forget what it's called so we'll have that soon all right guys while I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and test the glow plugs in this engine and uh, in order to do that, I'm going to have to unhook these batteries and quit charging them, so I'll get to that. So I've got the camera set up here. Move this out of the way for you. And here's a tester. I've got my positive on this battery, and I'm touching the tip of the glow plug. And it's lighting up, so that glow plug is good. And I'm going to repeat this for all the other glow plugs. found an easier way to do this. I've got this clamped onto that terminal since that battery is still plugged in over there. But uh, just to show you again, I've got... Okay, what the heck. I had power to that one. See, I've got power to this one. Okay, I just wasn't touching it good enough. And I've got power to this one. I'm going to test this other side off camera because it's pretty difficult to get to and it'll be difficult to film. Just learned something and that's how you test your glow plugs. So buddy, it's the next day and in we got the glow plug relay. So not in the box sorry it's not in the box but this is what it looks like it's all shiny um, this is what the old one looks like they look a little different so hopefully they're the right thing or it's the right thing all right guys, I'm back and I'm in the machine shed with the new glow plug relay. So I'm gonna give you guys a better view of what I'm doing here. So there's the old relay and the new relay. Sorry if you can hear the cat in the background meowing and the rain, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this, this up right here and then clean the computer up right here so right now I've got the bottom cleaned you can actually see through there so now I'm gonna get to all these wires the sides and the top all right so now I've got the top cleaned off the sides and the bottom that side now I'm gonna clean off these wires and then we'll be able to assemble the entire th thing all right, so I went ahead and scrubbed this off with the diesel and a brush. And I'm pretty sure this middle part is what heats up, so it's pretty hard to get it shiny again. But I've got both of these ends pretty, pretty clean. So we're going to go ahead and assemble everything back together. All right, guys, so I've got it all put together correctly. This is the finished product. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, it's the next day. I've been waiting all day for the sun to come out. And for the rain to stop, but it's still raining. So, we're just going to go ahead and try to put this in and see if it works for the truck. If not, uh, the next thing we're going to have to worry about is the computer, which is the bottom box part on this. Uh, underneath the glow plug relay. And then if... It's not that, then we'll have to do glow plugs. All right, I've got all the tools. Now it's time to lay across this boat and uh, get this relay back in the truck. All right, so I've got it placed back in there. I've got that bolt in, and then there's another one on that side. So now I gotta hook the ground up and all these cables back here. I went ahead and disconnected both batteries to prevent any 
uh, shorting out and stuff like that. I don't know if you have to do that, but I'm just going to do that to be careful. So I'm going to spend some time and get all this hooked up, and then we can test it out. So I'm going to look at one of the diagrams I have and make sure I didn't mess up and I have everything uh, hooked up the right way, and then we can go ahead and try it. Dan Lyle's interested in a turkey. Lyle. <laughs> Alright guys, so it seems to be hooked up all good and dandy, so we're going to put these battery cables back on and uh, test the glow plugs. Alright, so I'm running, oh, there it is. So we got the wait to start light. It wasn't working, but now it's working. So, just a bad connection or something? I'm not very sure. But, I'm going to go ahead and test the glow plugs with uh, my little tester here. Alright, so I think we have power to the glow plugs, but the wait to start light isn't working. So that kind of worries me. And I don't hear any clicking in the relay. So I'm not exactly sure. All right guys, I don't know how many days it's been since I last tested the glow plug relay. Glow plug relay. Uh, this is gonna be a failed video. So anyway, I am deciding to take it out now because finally it's not raining. It's been really wet lately, so. Um, I am going to show oh, I've got everything disconnected that I know of. So now we got the whole module. And I'm going to quick show you what was, what the mistake was here. Um, the guy at Napa, shout out to Napa, uh, gave me a starter solenoid. As you can see in between each post, it's got like that number one shape and the step up and step down and it's literally the same thing as that so and let's see here yeah you can see it a lot better right there so they're the same thing not the same function so you're gonna have to return this and then get uh, the actual glow plug relay which looks like this that is what it looks like uh, it has this big round piece and then splits off each way and yeah much different curved edges brown not black so we'll be waiting on that and then we'll probably be getting some glow plugs and then after that we'll be working on the transmission Guys, the whole glow plug relay and computer is out. And we've got the starter solenoid back in package so we can go ahead and return it. And then we've got this to bring with us to show the people because they don't know what it is apparently. So next time you see me, I'll have uh, hopefully a glow plug relay.